Energy. Hydrogen is often touted as a green energy option as part of Australia's and the world's fuel transition. The process currently involves a costly and time-intensive process, though, of desalination. Australian researchers are hopeful a new method that skips that step. Splitting seawater directly into hydrogen and oxygen can make the process cheaper and greener. Joining me live is Dr Nasir Mahmood, lead researcher with RMIT, where the new technique has been developed. Thanks for your time. Is this... Uh, a breakthrough that looks like, yes, you'll be able to do this on a, a, a grand scale, or are we talking sort of granular, and the next step is being able to do this at scale? Uh, thanks for having me here. Uh, yes, uh, what we have developed, that's the catalyst that uh, has already been tested under the industrial conditions, and the beauty of that catalyst, we can avoid that chlorine production. That is the big hurdle to avoid, uh, to remove the desalinization process to make uh, uh, seawater uh, be useful for the hydrogen production because the chlorine is uh, is, uh, is a value added product but the amount will be produced from this process that will be four four times more than the world consumption so we will be uh, leaving uh, uh, millions of tons of chlorine into the environment that is another greenhouse gas so that's not a solution that we we adopt uh, by removing one pollutant and adding another pollutant. So we focus on developing these catalysts that uh, they should work by inhibiting that chlorine production. They can effectively only produce hydrogen and oxygen without any other pollutant into the environment. So the results we obtain is very promising and uh, they, they have been already tested into the industrial conditions and they are almost uh, ready to be partnered with the industrial uh, and uh, make them uh, to be commercialized and used in the com commercial electrolyzers. And as for what this means for the future of green hydrogen, what's a rough percentage on how much this, previously the process of desalination, would add to the cost? In other words, is there a percentage that this will take off the price of green hydrogen straight away? Uh, with the uh, current calculations, it has been uh, shown that uh, uh, desalination add up to 4 to 5 percent of the uh, cost, but that is calculated based on the very high energy consumptions uh, into the hydrogen production process. But once these kind of catalysts have been employed, the energy consumptions will come down from 60 to 40. So then the comparative percentage addition of the desalinization will be very high. So if we remove that one, then the cost, we can achieve that our target of a $2 per kg hydrogen cost. And so in terms of just finally green hydrogen and actually being at scale and used around the world, can you put a figure on it, a best guess when that would happen? Uh, we, we are aiming like we are working with the different industrial partners and we are taking their feedback and uh, making a plan. We are hoping that we can make this uh, uh, be available for the commercial use uh, uh, within next two to three years. So our target is uh, 2025 so that we can make these uh, electrolyzers to be in the race for to achieve our net zero emissions uh, by uh, 2030 and 2050. All right, it's a big window, isn't it? So when it comes, it'll make a big difference. Appreciate your time today. Dr. Nassim Mahmood, thank you.